Hello everyone. We're beginning our next unit on buying decisions. So when you buy something in a store or online, you're going to be faced with decisions that you have to make. Things like, what's the better deal? Or what will cost me less in the long run? So this whole unit is about making those decisions in a smart way. So we're going to start our discussion by talking about the best buy. So when you have two items that are very similar, you need a way of determining which one is the best one to buy, which one is going to be uh, more cost effective. So the key here is when trying to compare prices, you need to compare them for equal units. So if I have a bag of chips that's 200 grams and I'm comparing that to another bag of chips that has 300 grams, uh, it's not a fair comparison because the, the chip bags are different sizes. So of course their prices aren't going to be the same. So when you want to see what's the best buy, you have to make sure that you're comparing them for equal units. And this is where the idea of the unit price comes in. So the unit price is the cost of an item expressed per unit. And I have some examples listed below. So we can have dollars per liter, dollars per 100 grams, or dollars per serving. And if you ever go to a bulk store and uh, the prices are listed as how many dollars per pound or dollars per kilogram or something like that. So the unit price is what we're going to use in order to compare prices of similar items. So here's my first example. Bob is at the grocery store. Help him decide which oatmeal is the better deal. So they're both Quaker oats. This one is in the packets. This one is just the oats. But uh, this one has enough for 10 servings. This one has enough for 30 servings of oatmeal. This one has a price of $4.89. This one has a price of $5.99. So we can't just look at the price. Obviously, this one has a lower price, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's the better deal because it only has 10 servings, whereas this one has 30 servings. So we're going to find the unit price here in order to make a fair comparison. And since we're dealing with the number of servings, we will make our unit price in dollars per serving. And we'll calculate the dollars per serving for each option. Now, how do you calculate that? Well, look at the words. It's dollars per serving, that word per in the middle. Per means divide. So we're going to take the dollars, divide by the number of servings. So for our first option, it's $4.89 and 10 servings. So we take the dollars, divide by the number of servings. So $4.89 divided by 10 servings, that works out to $0.489 per serving. Now, because I'm just finding a unit price here in order to compare with another one, I don't need to round this to the nearest cent. I can just leave it like this. So now let's look at the other option. So here I have a price of $5.99 for 30 servings. So I'm going to do the same thing to find the unit price. I'm going to take the dollars and divide by the number of servings. So it's $5.99 divided by 30 servings. And that works out to be $0.199 per serving. So now we can have a fair comparison. We have the price per serving for each. So if we look at the values, this one's $0.489, this one's $0.199 per serving. This one is a lower price per serving. So we would say that uh, this option is the better deal. Here's another example. Now we're comparing paper towels. Which one is the better deal? So here I can get two rolls of paper towels for $2.49. 
Or I can get 12 rolls of paper towels for $12.99. So this one, it's kind of unclear to, to see which one is the better deal. But just like last time, if we find the unit price, we can make a fair comparison between these two options. So for this one, since we're dealing with the number of paper towel rolls, our unit price should be in dollars per roll. And again, that, that word per means divide. So we're going to take the dollars and divide by the number of rolls. So for this first option, it's $2.49 for two rolls. So we're going to take $2.49, divide by two rolls, which ends up being $1.245 per roll. For the next set, we have $12.99 for 12 rolls. So we're going to do $12.99 divided by 12 rolls. That ends up being $1.082 per roll. So if we compare the unit prices, this one is the better deal. My last example deals with uh, going out to eat versus staying at home. So uh, if we just look at McDonald's, we'll go to McDonald's and just get a quarter pounder without cheese. Just to make things simple, we're just, just talking about two buns with meat on it. Okay, so a quarter pounder without cheese at McDonald's costs $5.29. If you go to the grocery store, a pound of beef costs $4.50. And eight buns cost $1.97. And I got that from uh, Walmart. So that's where I found these prices. Okay, so what's the better deal? Eating at McDonald's or making your own burgers? Well, right now it's not a fair comparison because this is one hamburger. This is a whole pound of beef and eight buns. So we need to find the price per hamburger. Well, that's easy for McDonald's. We're told that one quarter pounder costs $5.29, so it's $5.29 per burger at McDonald's. It's a little trickier when we're dealing with the stuff we buy from Walmart or the, the grocery store, because here it's a whole pound of beef and eight buns. So we need to have a quarter pounder. Well, a quarter pound is one fourth of a pound. So the price for a pound of beef is $4.50. The price for a quarter pound of beef would be a quarter of that. We'll divide it by four. And then for one burger, we need one bun. So the cost for eight buns is $1.97. So a cost for one bun would be an eighth of that. We'll divide it by eight. So now we can find the price the cost for one quarter pounder by adding the price for a quarter pound of beef and the price for one bun. So now we can compare the unit price, the price per burger. Well, at McDonald's, it's $5.29 per burger. Making it yourself using ingredients from the store, it's $1.37 per burger. So making your own burgers is a better deal. Now I bring this up because sometimes there's other factors that you need to consider other than just price. So obviously if we're basing our decision off the price, making your own burgers is the better deal because it costs way less than going out to McDonald's to buy a burger. However, other things to consider is, do you have the time? to make a burger for yourself? Or do you even have the energy? These are all things that you need to consider when making purchasing decisions.